Tensions between the U.S. and Iran is at an all-time high following the death of the general Qasim Soleimani, who was killed over the weekend. Of course, this was a hit ordered by U.S. President Donald Trump. We sit down with the ambassador of Iran to South Africa to give us details and insight to what the people of Iran are going through. We have seen millions of people flooding streets in your country to mourn the death of Suleimani. How has this impacted the people of Iran? First of all, thank you for having me here with you. Uh, as you mentioned correctly, uh, the assassination of the General Qasem Soleimani was very bad and the strong impact of the uh, people of Iran. Uh, Qasem Soleimani is not a, just a major general in the uh, armed forces of the Islamic Republic of Iran. He was a he was a hero. Just you can see in the streets of Iran now, uh, just only in Tehran now, based on the reports from the you know CNN and BBC, and the millions of people based on the last report, just in Tehran, five million people now are in the, on the street to commemorate the, uh, their beloved commander. Uh, for sure, uh, it, it is, 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 uh, is the attack the heart of the uh, heart of people of Iran. Uh, his character is not just for the Iranian people. A great deal of the people of the region in some countries around the literal states around Iran, uh, also uh, General Qasem Soleimani uh, is a hero for them. You know, if you go back to the, uh, uh, just five, five or six years ago when the, uh, the, the Daesh and the other uh, terrorist group emerged in the, in the region, uh, he was invited with an, another Mujahideen in their countries to support them to, against and uh, fighting against the, this terrorism. This region, due to his attempt to calm down and uh, defeating the terrorist groups. I'm sure something that a number of people would like to know right now is why do you think Suleimani was killed? The, the, the revenge for Qasem Soleimani is not, not coming just the one week or two weeks. Just a few years ago also, the Americans is saying that uh, we are going to revenge it. Revenge for what? No, there are some excuses saying that they're killing the Americans. No, there is no the reason, it's an excuse in this regard. You know, lots of the money a huge money and the lots of the equipments is invested in the region that created new Middle East. Who did it? Who stopped it? Yes, from the from the uh, United States points of view, it is Qasem Soleimani. That this our region is due to his attempt to bring the peace, security, and tranquility to the region now. This is the figure, and also, unfortunately, we are, we don't have him. It is up here now. Even the Americans now, due to his, the Americans' troops, uh, be safe because he, of his uh, attempts. It was an excuse that they're saying that. Uh, but, uh, but sure, in future, we can find out that the role of the Qasem Soleimani in the Middle East. Now, Gomi, we have seen the US President Donald Trump saying that this attack was more of him trying to stop a war and not start a war. What do you make of that? We are, we are working, we are working, we are living in, in, in the propaganda now. Uh, any, unfortunately, we are facing with the, a war that the you know, two superpowers uh, is, is pushing their policy through the, through the, you know, this kind of the propaganda. Which kind of the war in the region? Calming down, you know, uh, as I mentioned, uh, when the Daesh came to the Iraq 
and starting to kill the people. Who had stopped them? The, Irani, the Iraqis people with the help of the Qasem Soleimani. There is no, you know, an official when saying something, it must give, it is due to give the, give, give, give the facts in this regard. Just saying in the propaganda that, the, that, that the, it is killed because of that one. This is not true, for sure. Who is killing the people of the, who is the killing of the people of the region? Just take a look in two decades. There are there's Americans in Iraq, in Afghanistan, in the other region. Thousand, thousand of people is killed because of the persons of them in the region. These are the, the, the consequences of their uh, interfering in the in, 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 in the policy and uh, in the policy and the, in the in, in different places in the in, in the Middle East. And the messages coming out of Tehran um, during this moment um, is, of course, them saying now they've vowed to avenge themselves. We've seen that red flag being hoisted. Um, what does this all mean? Should Iranians be preparing themselves for war right now? For sure, Americans can start the war. It is clear for everyone. It is an act of war. And the Islamic Republic of, of Iran reserves its right to respond to this war action in the right times and in the right place and in, in the right manner. For sure, we, we, we must retaliate it. If we can do it, if we cannot do it, they are going to invade again. It is our experience in this regard. But uh, how and where? We don't know in this regard. What for sure is going to be done? I was going to ask you how. How, how, how can we expect this to be done? You know, the, 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 the Supreme uh, National Security Council of Iran they are making decision in this regard. How to do it and what time. We've also seen the latest development uh, when it comes to the nuclear deal. Uh, we've seen um, reports coming out saying that there's a certain withdrawal uh, by Iran from the nuclear deal. What does this all mean? Uh, if you mean the, 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 the yesterday's uh, announcing by taking the fifth steps uh, of the Islamic Republic of Iran regarding the JCPOA, but at, it is said that uh, we took the fifth step, but in the framework of, framework of the JCPOA pact. Uh, it has done exactly inside the JCPOA pact based on the Article 36 of the, this pact. Uh, we are not uh, withdraw from the JCPOA. Everything is done, but it is Americans withdraw from the JCPOA two years ago. It, uh, we, keep, we, we keep our right in this regard to do so. Uh, but all these measures is going to be done under the, uh, the, the JCPOA pact uh, is going to be returned back by the uh, take the uh, right actions by the other member of the JCPOA, especially the Europeans. We've also seen um, Iraq taking a decision to expel American troops um, from their country your response to that as Iran? Is it, it is the decision by the, the assembly of the Iraq. Uh, you know, it, this, this, in this assassination is not just the Qasem Soleimani, uh, is also one of the officials, one of the high ranking officials in the military of uh, Iraq also assassinated and the targeted by the air strike of the US. The people of Iraq, Iraq uh, are very angry they also uh, lost one of the, their beloved figure in, in, in and a figure and the hero in, uh, in, 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 in the, in the their nation. This, this decision has made by the assembly, uh, but it is, takes time maybe, uh, I don't know what the government of Iraq is doing in this regard. But I think it is that they write in this regard, you know, 
all the these catastrophic events and the loss of the problem and crisis in the, in the economy, in the social of Iraq. The Iraqis believe is us all are coming from the, the invade of Iraq, of the US to Iraq and the, the um, uh, destructive policies in this region. We've seen the statement coming out of South Africa, calling for calm. We do know that South Africa has ties with both with both Iran and, of course, with America. What do you make of the statement that has been sent out by the South African government? As you mentioned, uh, we have very good relation between the Republic of South Africa and the uh, Islamic Republic of Iran. We have a very historical relation. We appreciate the people and the government of the Republic of South Africa. Uh, in this regard, uh, the stand and the joint communique by the ANC that released yesterday, it was very good for us and a very strong stand regarding the assassination of the Qasem Soleimani uh, and the condemned the USA in this regard. We appreciate the people, government, and the ANC in this regard. And as your country goes through this period, um, what sort of support would you like to see from the likes of South Africa? What support would you like to see from the likes of SEDEC and the African Union? If you go back to the last four decades, over relation with African countries was very strong and very near. During the day of struggle, we help them. We help each other in this regard. We believe that different, uh, different uh, in, in, uh, uh, in need is friend indeed. It's friend. Our friend, uh, friend relation is more strong that we believe that the Africans leave Iran alone in this regard. Uh, even uh, South Africa, South Africa during the struggle against apartheid, uh, also had the help of the Islamic Republic of Iran, support of the Islamic Republic of Iran, and after it, we cut over relation with the apartheid regime. Uh, you know, after revolution in Iran, we, which has the, during the Shah, which has very good and near relation to the uh, apartheid regime. After revolution, we cut all over ties with the uh, apartheid and after, ele after democratic election in South Africa, we reopened our embassy here and starting very near and uh, close relation and the friendly uh, ties with the government and people of South Africa. Uh, we help African country, we help this nation. Now, um, for sure, we, sh for sure we, we believe that the the Africans will help Iran in this regard. That is, of course, the Ambassador Gomi. He is the Ambassador of Iran to South Africa, giving us an insight to the issues uh, that plague Iran at the moment.